Welcome back folks to Let's Play Ultima Underworld. When last we left off, we were about to talk to the Goblin King, but first we should talk to his bodyguard, as requested, the Nugo. Thou not be bothering the boss, eh? Why dost thou not ask him thyself? Yeah, well, I could do that, but the boss don't like to be bothered with, like, practical stuff. His mind is on, uh, higher things. Thy advice is well taken. Sure thing. Hey, gotta go. Time for me to start dinner. You wanna stay? It's worm stew tonight. My speciality. Worm stew? <laughs> Aye, my mother used to make it. It takes a rot worm, chops it up fine, marinates it in port with mushrooms. Yeah, just all read down on this. That is actually a very important recipe we've just learned. We're going to be using that later. It's the reason why rotworms actually drop as something you can pick up, and it's the reason why we're holding on to a bowl. I thank thee kindly. So, we got a hint from Lanugo that the king here thinks on high things, which means he is... He believes he's very smart, and believes he is very, very proper. We will hear it from when we speak to him. Yes? I could just go straight into the flattery. And I shall just go straight into the flattery. All hail the most mighty and, uh... Puissant? Ruler of the great and noble race of green goblins. Fair greetings to thee. For what reason hast thou intruded on our court? I have quested long to drink from the fountain of thy wisdom, O Pearl Among Kings. Yeah, I think you need to get this guy really in your favour for him to ask, answer your questions. True, I am rather wise, come to think of it. What dost thou wish to know? How came you by that gorgeous cloak? It does suit me, doesn't it? I had it made especially for me. One simply doesn't find work like this underground. Well, perhaps a mountain folk do make a few nice things, but they tend towards metals rather than clothes. <laughs> and of course the seers, the ancient and lush illuminated seers of the moonstone, they call themselves. They do nice work too, but they generally tend towards well, the literary and the sartorial arts. And this hall? It is most beautiful. Well, one does what one can. Of course, those awful grey goblins took all the really nice things with them when they stole away in the night. This is just after Sir Kabiros died, you know, when things were falling apart, and we've had to make do since then. One of these days I'm going to get some poison into Ketchable or his ugly wife, which amounts to the same thing. He's terribly henpecked, you know. And then we'll see what's what. King of the Great Goblins, indeed. Why, he's an upstart! His father was a horse thief! But enough of this, you wanted to know something? How can I help you? Tis very kind of thee to take time to help me, your majesty. Oh, mention it not! I am so, sel so seldom that I get a chance to speak to a really intelligent person. I mean... Our allies, the lizard men, are nice enough, but the poor fellows can't speak a word of the common tongue. They understand it well enough, but the poor things don't have a mouth to speak it, and their language is so difficult. I mean, I know seeth and click mean yes and no. This is information we need to know, and we're going to write it down. Because, basically... By flattering this man, we are getting far more information than he would ever have normally given. But I don't know which is which. Ah. And then there are the Knights of the Crooks and Sata. They can talk well enough, but all they ever say is how many trolls they've killed. Frightful bore if it ever does help keep the pest, the pest population down. Both Knights of Pests. No binds of pests. Knights and trolls, you know. It must be a trial, even for one as noble as yourself. Oh, indeed it is! <laughs> and he keeps going. Sometimes I wonder how I even manage. It wasn't always like this, you know. 
When Sir Kabiras was alive, things were ever so much better. He and all of us working together so well. A born leader, theirs was that man. When he founded this colony, you could have made a wager anywhere in Britannia that it wouldn't work. But he made it so. I still think one of those bastard greys must have done him in. They were certain items, too. Well, I suppose it will do no harm to tell thee. Sir Kabiras collected eight great talismans, each embodying a certain virtue. He was a great one for virtue, was our Kabiris, and it was well known that he intended them to come to the leaders of the various groups here in the Abyss. Well, we never saw them. If they still exist, they must be lost. But I must be boring thee. N no, not at all. Oh, thou art just saying that. I'm sure there's much more for thee to do than listen to me natter on. If you should happen to meet King Ketchable or Queen Ketchable of the Great Goblins, be a dear and stick a knife in them, would you? <laughs> okay. Farewell, Your Majesty. Now, that King was actually very, very useful. It told me a lot of interesting information. And I have no desire to talk to him more. The more you talk to those gob that king, the more likely he is to get hostile. And if the king goes hostile, everyone goes hostile. And I am the Avatar, and although the Avatar does combat very well now, I'd rather avoid fights whenever I can. So let's just leave. We do have the Grey Goblins to go visit though. The Grey Goblins are over here. And there's also a, uh, a bridge over here as well that we could uh, go visit. Have I already been down here? Yes, I have. This is where the Lurker was. Lurker is not here right now. He's gone away. Also, we're feeling a bit peckish. Where's that apple? Not in here. Uh, nope, not in there either. Is there an apple in here? Yes, there is. Day old apple. We'll eat it. It tasted pretty good. As you would expect it to. I wonder where the apple actually comes from. Do the seers magic it all up? These seers that have been talked about, if you just ask him direct questions, the king of the green goblins will just get really insulted. So you actually have to flatter him to get information. Which is not often a bad thing. But the Grey Goblins are here. And the Grey Goblins, if memory serves, are actually not as bad as you'd think. And they do have a guard. It's this man here. What's his name? Ebb. So, who go there? My name is Shana. Shana, eh? I think I heard of you. You knew here, eh? You come to the right place. Grey Goblin is the most powerful group here. Good idea to speak with King Ketchable. He's very wise and strong. Maybe you best talk to Queen Retro first, though. On you go now. I thank thee for thy advice. This place is more compact than the uh, place we were just in. There is also a lurker in here, too. Fortunately, it is a friendly one. Or at least a mellow one who's not going to stab me in the face. There aren't as many fineries as there were in the other place, but... And also, there's a very obvious secret door here. I don't have the key to open it, though. There is a button. This would be where you would find a pole. But we already have one. There's also a ragged scroll. Now, if I know my things correctly, this will be written by... Braggart indeed. The dim-witted goblins have given me the tool I need. Tonight I shall make good my escape from this filthy cell. Well, we don't need that. We'll leave that there. So let's not get locked up in there. Or at the very least, if we are locked up in there, we have a way out. So up here there might be a little area I can go into. Yeah, here we go. What do these guys have for trade? Hey, goblins. You have business here. What could that tell me of thy race, the goblins? 
Grey goblins, grey goblins, not just goblins. Say goblins, maybe you mean green goblins too. Yeah, you not want to know about them. Nasty and brutish they are. Uglier than humans even. Not related to us, no, not at all. Very well. What, what of the grey goblins? Ah, uh, yes. Grey goblins, much better. We the rulers of this area. All others look up to us. Humans, green goblins, spiders even. You look for powerful group, you come to the right place. Does thou wish to trade items with me? Okay, what do you have? That is not interesting. I do not want those items. <laughs> they are a poor selection of items you are showing me. And also there is some fish. I'm pretty sure... No, no, get that out. Don't get that out. Is indeed owned by a goblin. So, what do you have? Anything interesting? Wait, come back. Hello, this funny looking person again. Oh, you have a little different, but still not particularly interesting uh, regalia of items. I'm not doing very well on the trading. You are a upset goblin. You have business here? I wish to trade with thee. Ooh! That's an arrow. Ooh, if we were using ranged weapons, that would be something we'd want. But, uh, we're not. I do want that gold, though. I'm gonna go for the gold again. This is a serviceable cudgel. What kind of deal am I getting? An even deal? Oh, we need to sweeten it more in his favor. How about the second cudgel? This deal is now poor. He'll probably like this. I make thee this offer. Ugh. No, he doesn't like it. Maybe if I... throw a few candles in. Like two. Is the cat... is the deal better now? It's a very bad deal. Please? Oh... I'll throw in this plant! <laughs> nah, he doesn't want the plant, does he? <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere. What if I throw in a few torches? This is an awful deal. <laughs> a terrible deal! He'll surely take it now! Funny that! Yes, he did. <sighs> yeah, we're not going to be doing that much trading, but uh, I do need some gold. And that did lighten my load slightly. Farewell. Eh, uh, does he like me now? Oh, he's still upset. Let him be upset. This is a keep out. Oh, keep out. He's probably the guard of that. He's probably the guard. And this, I believe, is the entrance to the King of the Grey Goblins. And his wife. His wife is somewhere. At least I hope his wife is somewhere. Has something happened to his wife? Has his wife fallen down the hole? Life's normally in here. Hmm. I seem to have a trend of people just throwing themselves off bridges. That's not a hole, that's actually just water. Hmm. Maybe she's around somewhere. So when we come back, folks, we'll talk to this king. And I'll catch you later. I'll see you then. Later.